Baxter and I are back with another read aloud. Remember, our focus this week is on inferences or making um, or inferring. Remember, it's using what you already know, using clues that the um, author gives you, and that's how we read between the lines. All right, so as I read A Visitor for Bear, be thinking about what the author doesn't tell you um, about Bear, but uh, things that you could infer about him. One morning, Bear heard a tap, tap, tapping on his front door. When he opened his door, there was a mouse, small and gray and bright eyed. No visitors allowed, Bear said, pointing to the sign. Go away. He closed the door and went back to the business of making his breakfast. He set out one cup and one spoon. But when he opened the cupboard to get one bowl, there was the mouse, small and gray and bright eyed. I told you to leave, cried Bear. Perhaps we could have just a spot of tea, said the mouse. Out, commanded the bear. Most sorry, said the mouse, I'll be going now. Bear showed him the door and shut it firmly. Then he went back to business of making his breakfast. But when he opened the bread drawer for one slice of bread, there was the mouse, small and gray and bright eyed. rumbled Bear. Away with you, the moose. I do like a bit of cheese, said the mouse. Bear pointed a rigid claw toward the door. Yes, then, here I go, said the mouse. Farewell, and the mouse whisked out the door. This time, Bear shut the door very firmly and locked it tight. He locked the windows, too, for good measure. There once, then once again, he went back to the business of making his breakfast. But when he opened the fridge to get one egg, there was the mouse, small and gray and bright eyed, of course. Be gone, roared Bear. A crackling fire, ventured the mouse. This is impossible, intolerable, insufferable, cried Bear, shaking with anger and disbelief. Terribly sorry, murmured, murmured the mouse. Now you see me, now you don't. I am gone. And the mouse looked very sorry indeed while he waited for Bear to unbolt the door and let him out again. This time, before he went back to the business of making his breakfast, Bear shut the door very, very firmly, locked it, boarded the window shut, stopped, stopped, up, stopped up the chimney, and even plugged the drain in the bathtub. Carefully, Bear set all the business of making his breakfast. He opened the cupboard, no mouse. Ah. He opened the bread drawer, nothing, phew. He opened the fridge, mouse free, yes indeed. He lifted the lid to the, to the tea kettle. There was the mouse, small and gray, and well, you know the rest. Bear fell to the floor and wept. I give up, he blubbered. You win. I am undone. So sorry, said the mouse, but perhaps if I could have just a bit of cheese and a cup of tea, do you think we could unstopper the chimney and have a nice fire? Bear blew his new nose with a loud honk, but then you must go, he sniffled. No visitors allowed. You have my word, said the mouse. Bear 
unshuttered and unboarded the windows. Unlock the door and stop, stop or the chimney and unplugged the drain. He bought, he brought out two plates of cheese and two teacups and made, and he made a crackling fire in the fireplace for two sets of toes. The mouse warmed his feet and nibbled and sipped and Bear did too. Then sat, they sat for a long while. The clock in Bear's house ticked loudly. Bear cleared his throat. The mouse looked most attentive. No one had ever been most attentive to Bear. The fire is nice, Bear announced. Lovely, said the mouse. No one had ever said Bear's fires were lovely. I can do a headstand, said Bear. Very impressive, exclaimed the mouse. Bear told a joke. The mouse laughed heartily. No one had ever laughed at Bear's jokes before. Bear began to think of another joke. The mouse set down his teacup. Bear quickly lifted the teapot. There's plenty more, he said. So sorry, said the mouse. Most kind, but I must be on my way. Really? You needn't go, said Bear? I am off, said the mouse, springing up from his chair. Wait, cried Bear, but the mouse stepped out the door. Toodle, said the mouse. Don't go, wailed Bear, throwing his body across the path. But I gave you my word, said the mouse, pointing at the no visitor sign. Oh, that, cried Bear, pulling down the sign and tearing, tearing it up. That's for salesmen, not for friends. Not for friends, asked the mouse, small and gray and bright-eyed. Bear nodded. The mouse's bright eyes glowed brighter. Bear smiled. Do you like one look? Or two, said Bear most politely. I like two, said the mouse, and Bear agreed. Your task today um, is to answer uh, the question of why do you think that Bear, or what do you think uh, that Bear has learned by the end of the book? So it doesn't tell you what the lesson is that he learned, but what do you think using your background knowledge, your schema, and the text clues um, that the author has given you. What is the lesson that Bear learned? And the second part of your task, it looks like a puzzle piece right here, and it is, again, using those text clues uh, to make an inference about, um, about the text clue. So Bear tries to refill Mouse's cup and tells him there is plenty more. What can you infer? What do you know um, about that statement and then how the conclusion part is how do you know that? Okay. So that is your task. Again, if you have get stuck or you have any questions, um, email, um, have your parents email myself or Mrs. Norling. Okay. We will see you next time.